doing a lot of posting on the on your face Facebook. <laughs> I like face, Facebook. It's sort of like my uh, personal soapbox. Uh huh. Yeah. I see. And also because I read the New York Times every day, mm -hmm. and so I like to share things that I mm -hmm. think are interesting with my friends. So, uh, this is something I made for a natural cleaner. It's just simple uh, plain white vinegar uh -huh. and uh, lemon peel and a little bit of lemon juice. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's kimacha? Yes. Itadakimasu. Ah, itadakimasu. You don't have to mix it too, too much, but mm -hmm. I like it so that um, the heat from the grain can mm -hmm. start to soften the feta and the butter a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when I went to Japan, I did notice that, that the breakfasts are usually um, more substantial and, and regular food and mm -hmm. not just um, sugary types of things. Mm -hmm. So when I came back from Japan, I did try to change my breakfast habits and not just grab a pastry mm -hmm. or something. And um, yeah, I feel much better. For, right. And as soon as I went to Japan, I immediately felt almost like I belong there. Mm -hmm. um, I just loved everything about it. I loved the people the aesthetic, um, the fashion, uh, the food. Mm -hmm. um, I especially love any kind of Japanese fashion that's asymmetrical mm -hmm. and um, sort of billowy. Mm -hmm. So where it's not really form-fitting, but there's a lot of extra fabric that can have movement. Uh -huh. um, I love that in the I Japanese. Uh, katsuobashi? Katsuobushi. Katsuobushi, <laughs> um, which I like to use um, uh, sometimes I will have uh, kinu tofu, uh -huh. and I add um, soy sauce, mm -hmm. uh, I spread a little wasabi, mm -hmm. and then I'll sprinkle some fish flakes on mm -hmm. top. Mm -hmm. Then I have uh, kombu, uh, homemade dashi. Uh -huh. uh, then I, I have sesame seeds, uh -huh. and of course um, the mortar and pestle. This is my yukata. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it's very pretty. Yeah. The story. Mm -hmm. This particular umbrella is my favorite. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's, <laughs> but I do use these umbrellas all the time in the summer when I'm walking around. Ah. Pages a very small whiteboard, uh -huh. and each whiteboard can obviously be written on front or back. Mm -hmm. And between each is a plastic sheet to help prevent smudging. Mm -hmm. And then it has a built-in spot where uh, the marker is kept. And uh, it has an eraser on the top, mm -hmm. and it's great because I can hide many things behind it. Yeah. Um, I also use the screen for uh, when I have guests staying with mm -hmm. me, and sometimes they'll stay in my bedroom. Mm -hmm. I myself will sleep out here mm -hmm. on my futon mm -hmm. on the floor. I see. And then I will take the shoji screen and uh, move it to the uh, top of the bed, uh -huh. so it gives me a little privacy. Um, it doesn't look so nice now because there's no uh, special... Mm -hmm. Ah, well, this is the... Kake futon? Kake futon, mm -hmm. yeah. Furoshiki. Mm -hmm. um, and I actually use these different bags, especially in the summertime, mm -hmm. uh, for food shopping. You can... Mm -hmm. uh, uh. So do you usually go shopping with this? Yes. So here's my dress. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> so this is uh, the second dress I bought in mm -hmm. that same shop, mm -hmm. also antique kimono fabric. What you would do is you would just lay mm -mm. flat in the water, mm -mm. and the water only went halfway up your body. Uh -huh. And I remember thinking, how beautiful is this to be lying in this water mm -hmm. with of a beautiful temperature, mm -hmm. completely outdoors, mm -hmm and completely naked. Mm -mm. It was it was very, very nice. Yeah. This piece here was mm -hmm. one of her test pieces mm -hmm. for, um, she did a series of uh, tarot cards uh -huh. ah. you, um, using Japanese woodblock technique. Oh. Back to my apartment. Mm -mm. And then I will go on the internet mm -mm. on Craigslist mm -mm. and free cycle. Mm -hmm. And I will uh, put a photo of uh -huh. the item uh -huh. and I will say, you can come to my home to uh -huh. pick this up, or if it's something that I could not carry, I mm -hmm. will give the exact address, mm -hmm. and I'll say, and this is with, I saw it around midnight mm -hmm. on uh, a Sunday night. Mm -hmm. The person immediately responded to me and said, I want to come and pick this up. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, if you can come within the next hour. Mm -hmm. So I had to stay awake an extra mm -hmm. hour until 1 a.m. Wow, you are so kind. Until the person came and picked <laughs> well, it up.